Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Um, just wanted to let you know that I have figured something out. Um, no SQL for uh, your uh, clustering within R. Nice and easy. And it's all open source and it's free. Um, if you come to this posting on my R blog site right here, uh, about our Redis and uh, do Redis uh, open tech for Microsoft which is fairly new um, there is a little link here uh, which allows you to download Redis for uh, Windows now Redis is a um, a NoSQL in-memory database Funny thing is, is that Microsoft uh, is working on their own, I guess, an implementation of it for Windows uh, under this new development called um, uh, OpenTech. Um, Microsoft's getting in, in that big time. But nonetheless, I, that's not what it's about. You can run Redis on Linux and uh, Mac OS X as well. So let's get to it. Um, so let's say you download, uh, sorry, you download. Uh, Redis for Windows from here, from this uh, GitHub release project. Uh, That's what I'm running. Um, and the cool thing about this version of Redis, um, if you go under your services for uh, for uh, Windows, obviously I'm re running uh, Windows 7. Uh, this version of Redis that's installed will install as a Windows service. So essentially you can have it automatically load up the Redis server on um, on uh, automatically on startup. And uh, in this case obviously the uh, Redis has started. Uh, and um, let me show you what we're talking about on the Redis side of things. So if I come under Redis, come under the Redis client this is all part of that same download. You can get access to the Redis shell. I don't know Redis. Doesn't matter. So, um, this is where it's going to get really cool. I have played with MongoDB. I have played with MySQL Cluster, Cassandra, Hadoop, HBase, and they are all all archaic junk, rubbish, compared to what I'm about to show you. For paralyzing and most of all um, uh, clustering within a R environment and it's so easy and so powerful all in Windows and it can also be done in Linux as I'm about to show you. So what I have here is I've, I've just installed the Redis, the Redis server um, and I have here um, my Oracle virtual box which I'll show you in a minute but what I want to show you is I have an R install on this system which is my host uh, and um, if you come into here um, under big computing blogspot dot com dot whatever um, you will also find here big computing dot com under do redis html there's a really powerful video that will get you going huh that's the way to do it uh, within R um, and this little guy right here this little script is what we are focusing on um, so I'm going to bring it up in my uh, R Studio now. If you are new to R, you cannot live without R Studio. R Studio is so powerful. This is R Studio. Not quite the same uh, interface as MATLAB, but it's getting close. Getting close. The only thing that's different is the debugger. Once we get that, um, wow! All I can say is Dream Software for free, open source, powerful, powerful stuff. Anyway, so we're looking at the do Redis. So um, uh, again, I want you to remember this URL from bigcomputing.com, which I just showed you. The Redis uh, server and client for Windows found here on the GitHub. GitHub. And now uh, this script that I just showed you, um, which will be run or demonstrated in this video. Right, uh, and boom, 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 boom. You run it. You know, you can do all these modeling and cool stuff that we all love. Two things I want to highlight: um, QuantMod, 
which we all know about, for all my premium members know about, the for each li uh, R package. Now, this is a specialized for each loop for paralyzing loop, I guess. That's what I've seen it used for. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to jump ahead to this code right here. Now, before I run this, I want to show you my virtual box, my Oracle virtual box. Like I said, I had two virtual box environments. First, I have um, an R, a, a, a Windows XP um, R and R Studio. So in there, in this R, I have do Redis right here. It's activated, as you can tell. Again, this is our studio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to register and set up this virtual virtual machine as a Redis worker right here. So what it's going to do, it's going to register into the host at this IP with the queue jobs. Okay. Um, let me show you the source code on on the on I guess you call it the master. So here we go. Do Redis, load it in, activate the library. I should say or the R package now. Register and do Redis the queue called jobs. Now remember, um, in my service, I got the do Redis ser server already running, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna create this uh, not only a local worker, but I'm gonna create a job called queue. So um, if I go back into my XP virtual machine, which I just showed you, it's gonna connect in that same IP. Uh, and it's going to connect into where that queue jobs is. So you don't believe me. Um, this is the host IP. Again, 192.168.210. And that's where we're connecting into in this virtual machine. Okay. So again, it's connecting into the host. And it's connecting into that jobs on the host machine, which is here. Uh, and it's set up right here. So let's let's get all that set up. So off she goes. It's gonna load in the library, do Redis right here. Uh, register the jobs, start the local workers, and set the chunk size of 250. Now I could set this chunk size, the iteration of each step in the loop, 250, 1,000, whatever I want. So I'm just gonna load in a custom function, which is in line. It's from that video, so watch that first. Well, you should watch it first. Um, load the function the F function and now here's that loop now remember that for each loop this is to start off parallelization which will take advantage of this do Redis environment so uh, that's I've, I've actually got two virtual machines set up within my virtual box so here's the XP now I have another one I just want to show you and trick you into thinking oh we can do Linux too right so we're just going to log in uh, password blah, 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 blah. Yeah, here. okay so we've now got our second virtual machine ready to go we just stop this job I'm going to do the same thing as I did before Redis worker host jobs and now what we've got is we've got let me just launch this one now too okay so now we've got two virtual machines they're basically uh, workers uh, in Redis that are in R and now I can run this loop in the host uh, virtual machine with this for each loop and uh, it will um, run the loop and it will split that job among the two workers and itself. And you'll see it's fairly fast. Um, so let's run it. Now, it's running right now. You see this pretty little graph. Uh, what will happen is it takes a little bit of time for the, the plot to take effect, which is, again, in that video that you should know about, uh, which is displaying from here. Um, but uh, let's check in to see how our virtual machines are doing. Okay, so there's the, that just started. How about the Linux? That just started too. Um, so the loop has now been kicked off. Let's check in within our R Studio. 
So there's 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 our graph. Look at it go. It's just going nuts. Um, and uh, obviously it's going to be a little taxing on this system. The two virtual machines running and blah 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 blah. But look look at it's going to spike up to about 200 right here. Um, and uh, it's pretty powerful. Um, the cool thing about this is in the video, you could have as many workers as you want. Uh, it doesn't matter if one of the workers drops off. It's fault tolerant. Um, and, and believe me, it was so easy, easy, easy to set up. Um, it's all thanks to that video. I want to put out a big thanks to the people behind R, the people that make our studio, the people, I guess a big computing that make this amazing piece of software um, or, or, or our package called Do Redis as well as um, the Redis community for putting together uh, a great piece of software uh, and enabling me to save over $100,000 from within MATLAB and being able to do the same thing I could have done with MATLAB for 100 grand and do it all uh, within R and open source for free. So our job is done. Um, if I ran it by itself, it would take a lot longer. Um, and uh, let's check in and to see what's happening with our uh, virtual machines. So now um, they're still waiting, um, but I do believe I'm still playing with this. Um, I don't think I can just run another job because what's happened is I have to re-register uh, the into the Redis from. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this will work, to be honest. But nonetheless, it does work. It's fully automated as the systems boot up. It's, it's so easy to set up. Um, I'm very happy with it. I'm finally glad I, I can now run uh, my models and strategies in this format using these four each loops. Um, be able to paralyze and, and, and make my simulations much much faster. So there you go. It's running again, and it's 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 all very fault tolerant. You can run off this the command line. It can be done within Linux or Windows. You're choosing, and uh, off she goes and save yourself a boatload of time. All right, have a good day.